Right, 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 right. Oh, hi, okay, hi. Please welcome to Star Stage, Missy Mayhem. Missy Mayhem is an internationally traveled, award-winning cosplayer, wrestler, and viral content creator with over a decade of experience. She is best known for her cosplays of her Goo from God of Dragon Ball Z. She's a member of the International Brotherhood of Magicians, and during her time as a professional wrestler, she's worked along with such guests as the Boogeyman, Teddy Long, and Daryl Scott Hall himself. So, Missy, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit what you got here today. Today, I am cosplaying Lady Death from the Lady Death comics, and uh, I, she's a very powerful character, so I feel like bomb in this. It's very nice to be up here right now. Um, <laughs> Let's do it too. But uh, yes, this is really good because uh, Brian Polito is, is a good friend of mine, and uh, so I see all the time. This is a really outstanding job. So, what is it about Lady Death? Because she actually has a very good character arc and also a tragic arc. What sort of appeal does this character to you? I kind of really identify with the tragedy. I don't know. I have like, I, I get sad. I'm a sad boy for life. Okay, so I, I feel like I have a lot of tragedy in my life, and then she comes out more powerful at the end. So I just really identify with that. Very awesome, very awesome. What uh, social media outlets can we follow you on? You can find me easily at my website, cultofmayhem.com. Feel free to join my cult. Um, and everything, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok of all things, uh, all of it's at Cult of Mayhem. Very nice. Do you have any uh, upcoming projects uh, that you'd like to let us know about? Um, I'm working on a uh, Shinron from... Dragon Ball. So that's going to be awesome. We'll follow her on that and we'll only see some pictures of that. Give it up for our cosplayer, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Give us, give us one really good action fight. Give one, give one, lady Jack. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Missy Mayhem, ladies and gentlemen. And next on our feature cosplayers, please welcome to the stage, Christina Dark. Christina Dark is an international cosplayer, published model, and actress from Dallas, Texas. She's been cosplaying for nine years and best known for her Blue Beetle and Catwoman cosplays. So tell us about uh, this version of uh, Jaime. Uh, from I am Gender Benny Jaime Reyes from Young Justice, and gender bending to Jamie Dance. And I associate with this character so much because I'm also from El Paso, Texas, so I feel like I had to do this character that's from my hometown, and I'm all about Hispanic representation. And so I felt like I need to represent my city and do a Latin character. Very nice. Any other uh, characters in your repertoire like that? Oh, oh my gosh, I don't know. I think I just, this one hits home for me. Absolutely, absolutely. You do this character. Just, now, did you uh, stop by Keith Gibbons' table and show him this? Yeah, say that again. Sorry, I'm having fun. Stop by uh, Keith Gibbons' table, the co-creator of this version. I have it. Is he... He's here. Yes, he's here. Yes, Keith Gibbons is a guest here. Ah, oh, dang. So if you got this tomorrow, go ahead and stop by. We'll definitely do, like, a double tomorrow. But, yeah. Yeah. I'll kind of show you my little... Absolutely. Story. And uh, what social media outlets can we follow you on? You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Christina Dark Cosplay and Twitter at Christina Dark 2. Two. Electric Blue. Nobody else is close. <laughs> All right, this is very, very excellent. Thank you so much for sharing this off with us. Thank you. Another round of applause for Christina Dark. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes on that. Those are all of our featured cosplayers. So folks, how are we doing so far? <laughs> we're doing, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. You know what, we've got, I have seen some great cosplays here on stage, but you know what else? I think we got some good ones out here too. I'll tell you what, can we get the house lights up please? Get the house lights up. Okay, 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 this is good, this is good, this is good. All right, and speaking of ladies and gentlemen, I have just been given the high sign that our judges 
Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> and then our judges are ready. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to hear some of our winners? Oh, come on, you waited this long. Are you ready to see and hear some of our winners? All right, but before I read off this list, before I start this off, I would like to call for please, let's have one more final round of applause for all of our contestants. And keep it going for all of their friends, all their families, okay? Their support network. Keep it going. If you were there for a friend and you had to stay up with them all night, trolling through eBay and Etsy and Amazon and AliExpress, trying to find that one prop, keep it going, okay? For that nice lady down the craft store that helps you find that pattern. Keep it going for anybody who's ever stuck themselves with a needle. Keep it going for anyone who's ever burned themselves with a glue gun. So with that, ladies and gentlemen. All right, do I just read this off? Are our, our, our judges joining us? What? Judge's choice. Judge's choice, well then you should come on out and do this. Hello. for me, uh, foam work category had a lot of really good foam work builds. And so for my judge's favorite, I chose Bruce Holt for Odin. If you look at his um, foam work, his his headpiece is immaculate. The foam details, the lines, everything is sealed fantastically. He did an amazing job airbrushing, as well as bringing in some mixed media. So that's why I chose him as mine. Go ahead, on this side. All of our winners, again, go ahead and center with the side over there. Team Winner Cosplay, why don't you come on up and tell us who your judge's choice was. Hello, you had, you had some hard work, didn't you? <laughs> it was really difficult. Um, I mean, I had a great time judging, but everybody was so amazing. Uh, for my judge's choice, it was a really difficult one, but this one really, really impressed me with all the work that they went through. Mine is uh, entry number two, Paul as Iron Man. <laughs> Woo! And why I like this is that he not only went through and did the Pepakura, and if anybody's done that before, it's tiny little pieces of paper that you glue together or tape together to make it to the form that you want. He did that and then modeled it into 3D printing and then printed it off and then finished it. And that, uh, like, that's a whole extra strip that really impressed me. Absolutely, absolutely. And here comes Mr. Stark right now. Ooh, we're not supposed to know that, are we? <laughs> Didn't he tell everybody? So it's fine. No, that's his bodyguard. Yeah. yeah, yeah totally, totally. <laughs> and you. Congratulations to our Iron Man, ladies and gentlemen. All right, boss, go ahead and stand out over there. And you, my dear. I'm Elise from Team Whatever Cosplay, and I say and. My absolute favorite, um, I said they're getting him ready because it's going to be, I like to give him a heads up because my favorite is number 10, Dalek Rebus, the steampunk Dalek. I said, and this was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Pretty much everything was upcycled. The case, that's a 50s style personal sauna. It's got a wheelchair base underneath. I was just say, all these th components are just um, well and above the top. I say, uh, congratulations, you did such a good job. <laughs> I 
on the ice dog. Of course, of course. Round of applause for that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, hello, my dear. And uh, who is uh, who is your pick this year? Oh, he's kind of a lone dude. He kind of likes to be by himself, but everybody wants him to be with them when they need him. It's uh, The Lone Wanderer by Richard Shipley. This guy is amazing. Um, not only is he an excellent fighter, but his foam work is absolutely incredible. It's super functional. He uh, not only made um, excellent shoes to walk in and uh, form-fitting armor, which sometimes you can make it too big or too small, but it's super perfect. But his, uh, his rust and his uh, paint job was absolutely incredible. And that helmet, it's amazing. Well done. Thank you. Next, let's bring out to the stage my favorite cosplay Fraulein, Kamaway Cosplay. Come on up and join us. Hello, my dear, and who was your pick this year? My judge's choice goes to Tracy Cupcake as Valkyrie from Marvel. And my decision was uh, based on because she used plenty of different techniques. Like she completely 3D modeled her armor uh, and printed it out and also sanded, painted it. Also she designed her own fabric, also let it print out online. She did uh, also a lot of armor work, a lot of armor, uh, foam and stuff. And like I really enjoy if somebody takes the challenge and tries to master plenty of different techniques and materials and you Valkyrie, you come on join us. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about you. <laughs> this means a lot to me, trust me. Like thank you so much. Thank you for sharing this awesome passion with us. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is our recipients of our Judges' Choice Awards category. Give a round of applause for all that. Each of these winners, along with their trophy, also received a $100 gift certificate from U.S. Toy. Thank you again, U.S. Toy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into the heavy stuff. We are now getting into our novices category. Under the subcategory of needlework, of our prize of headphones and a $100 U.S. toy gift card, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mart, give it up for Jessica as Maleficent from Disney! In the category of Best Novice Foam Work, for another prize of headphones and $100 U.S. gift card, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mart, give it up for Dash Cosplay as Bone Hunter Monster Hunter World! courtesy of Nebraska Furniture, uh, Furniture Mart. Welcome back to the stage, Morgan as Molly Mock from Critical Role! <laughs> For the journeyman category of 
homework for a prize of a Dyson hair dryer, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mart. Welcome back to the stage, Baroness Von T. as Khalil Dawes from World of Warcraft. Under the journeyman category of mixed media for a prize of a 12-piece cook set, headphones courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mart. Welcome back to the stage, Dea as Aquaman from DC! And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the journeyman category, which means, are you ready for the masters? <laughs> Under best master needlework for a prize of a Dyson Pure Hot and Cold Purifier, Krupp's Belgian Four Slice Waffle Maker, and $50 Amex gift card, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mark, welcome back to the stage, Sam as Queen of Adela from Star Wars! <laughs> Next, under the master category of foam work, for a prize of an all-clad non-stick 10-piece set, Brave and 850 wireless speaker, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mart. Welcome back to the stage, Twitchy Squirrel as Drag Queen Monster Hunter. They're finding him, okay. <laughs> this happens. For the best master of mixed media, for prize of PKK keyboard, Logitech 640 mouse pad, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mart. Welcome back to the stage, Ben as Old Link Legend of Zelda. Oh wait, and there, there's our monster hunter. No, stick around, stick around, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our Masters category. Now, we have two left. Are you ready for the winner of the group category? Old Link's, okay, we still have to, all right. Oh, we have, we're in for Old Link, of course, because he, uh... <laughs> He's getting there, sorry, just, did I win something, or? <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, for our best group category, for a pr prize of three portable speakers, headphones, courtesy Nebraska Furniture Mart, welcome back to the stage, our Alice in Wonderland group. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Best in show. Are you ready? This is best in show. Are you ready? Planet Comic Con 2019 for winner of a T cell E cell 65 inch Roco LED high definition TV and audio technician headphones, courtesy of Nebraska Furniture Mart. Please welcome back to the stage your best in show winner, Molly as Brigitte from Overwatch! For best mixed media, novice.
Then that would be, please walk into the stage, welcome back to the stage, Abed as Kyla from League of Legends! Thanks to our producers, and most of all, thank you, ladies and gentlemen.